Dan the man Schneider. Dan open wider Schneider. Dan deep insider Schneider. Dan the hymen divider Schneider. Dan holder tighter she's a fighter Schneider. All names used to fittingly describe notorious television producer and inbred job of the hut Dan Schneider. This dude is responsible for a ton of shows on Nickelodeon. Just about everything I grew up on. Drake and Josh, The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, iCarly, Victorious, were all the thought babies of this maniac right here. So when the network decided last week that they'd be cutting all ties with Schneider and his production company, it naturally made some ripples in online discussion. Given his aristocratic status at Nick, a lot of people from all over the web are now shedding some light on his disconcerting past yet again. Which you've got to understand, Schneider has always had a reputation of being a little, uh, little, little too friendly with uh, the underage actresses in his shows, with numerous rumors and allegations cropping up just over the past few years. Rumors that do very little to help his crippling reputation. I'm talking entire boards on 4chan dedicated to pedophile accusations. Some consequential, others in jest. Regardless, the internet has sort of taken this meme and ran with it for a good period of time now. But in his critic's defense, there is a lot, a lot of evidence stockpiled against this meatball. Namely, his evident obsession with feet. Like, seriously, it's a problem. There have been a, s a slew of articles, Reddit posts, even Twitter threads, just for the sole purpose of showcasing the strangely excessive use of feet in his children programs. Like, it's actually funny how out in the open some of this stuff is. He's taken a page out of Tarantino's Guide to Sex Appeal and applied it to a kid's show. Which, I get it, Dan. I mean, who doesn't love a good, a good set of toes on, on the weekends? That's understandable. But the glaring problem still remains that the, these girls are underage. You can't just use these minors as vehicles for exploitation of your fetishes, Dan. Stop it! If you think I'm exaggerating, just, just take a look at this trash. How, how could there be so much? So much, dude. But it's not just feet, though. It gets creepier somehow. From the painstakingly obvious innuendos he and his writers incorporate into his, again, children shows. Actually, I just need to wash my hands. They smell like clams. Oh, you had the clams. No. You want to get slapped with a sausage? Sure. No! To the repetitive sexualization of 15 to 17 year olds legitimately makes me wonder how he's been able to get away with this so consistently for over a decade now. Setting aside the character depictions though, there is still an abundance of eyebrow raising footage offset documenting Schneider's interactions with his, again, child actors that would qualify as more than unsettling. Of course, if you were to just Google the name Dan Schneider, you'll see that one of the first suggestions is the name Jamie Lynn Spears. The Zoe 101 star whose unexpected pregnancy led to the show's expiration has always been the topic of conversation when it comes to Schneider's alleged affairs. That's because many Twitter users theorized that Jamie Lynn's baby daddy was the infamous producer himself. Seeing that she was <coughs> 16 at the time, she would be incapable of consenting, just making Schneider's case all the more troubling. Which I get that some people would argue Argue that's a bit of a reach, claiming that Dan Schneider is the father of Zoe 101's illegitimate daughter, but I can at least see why people would think that. I mean, it's kind of hard to turn a blind eye to all of the proof put forward so far. I've taken a look at the evidence myself, and unfortunately, he's so fucking fat that it's just hard to tell, so it really, it could go either way. Also, his hair really looks like a detachable Lego piece, and I just can't overlook that. But hey, these are just assumptions. I'm not trying to make any statements of definite fact here. It shouldn't be taken too seriously just yet. There could be a number of other reasons the network decided to abruptly kick their most profitable producer to the curb. Could it be for creative differences? Could Nickelodeon representatives actually be telling the truth about his cancellation? Or is it more likely that we've gotten to a point where his own insanity shed so much negative light onto Nickelodeon that the network simply cannot afford to have the reputation steadily contaminated by the human incarnate of a throbbing hemorrhoid? I'll let you decide. But as the rest of us wait for that long overdue me Two article to drop soon, I think we can all look forward to that Dan Schneider no jumper interview coming within the next few weeks. Am I right? Did she say nice things about me? Because I will tase her if necessary. Uh oh. I have the taser.
<laughs> we haven't had to use it in a long time. But I said lots of nice things. So I said nice things about you too. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna get on TV. What? That's gonna get on TV. <laughs>